I don't think it's supposed to be that loose like that. What's up, YouTube? So this is another day of testing. Uh, I had to re-weld uh, that cap. I made sure I got good-ass boogers on there. Just got to paint it black. Um, what else? Truck been running fine, surprisingly. Surprisingly, surprisingly, the truck been running fine. Um, temps and all that staying real good. My coolant temp. That's all my temp. My coolant temp is real good. I got tools and all that just in case. Uh, this truck doing fine. Doing real fine. It sounds so good too. It's another POV drive. I was so uh, anticipating like to get back on this truck. I can't wait to have this energy towards the Porsche and all that. It's just gonna be so much fun. Cruise control works so fine. Oil pressure been so good. We just need to do an oil change. I'm running on conventional oil right about now. I do need to go to that uh, high, uh, full synthetic. I might do that this week, uh, depending. It feel good passing people too. I'm surprised everything you're running so good right about now. We had some hiccups here and there. Uh, my exhaust clamp issue. What I did, I used like a piece of that uh, one uh, piece of the pipe I had, and I got another band clamp, which was like a two and a half, if I ain't mistaken. And I used some. Uh, I used some. Uh, some. Uh, some high pressure type. Uh, gasket, man, that thing working amazing. I, I mean, I ain't, I ain't seeing no exhaust leaks. My turbo wheel, it do spins and all that. I think it's got to be under pressure. I just find it weird, but I mean, it's making boost and stuff. I was thinking about upgrading the turbo that I seen on um, the website, the GT45 turbo. They got like a different type of style, um, so I might end up getting that probably changing that just to see but overall i'm just you know be content with this but this thing moves this thing moves i got other videos i might drop this one first then i drop the other ones uh or i could just do the ones that i was having issues and then uh going up fourth but i might just drop back on them so i might just start just drop these back to back uh just for fun that's just be uh cool these gauges look really cool in here especially that gfb gauge but anyway i don't know how many miles i put on here um i know before i couldn't drive out of town because i was having that whole issue where i would just shoot out every time i uh go in the boost that would shoot out the seals of the valley uh pain area uh, but I drove it. What did I driven it to? I think I driven this. I think I driven it to uh, one town away. That's like 30 to 40 minutes away from me. Then I drove it all the way to Carolina, uh, which I will see when I drop the videos. I did drive all the way to Carolina. It did fine on interstate and everything. And I was driving it back and forth uh, to this town, like 40 minutes away. Uh, I do want to drive this car like like the Tennessee, maybe Virginia probably. But uh, yeah. And then with my gas situation, like the gas needle thing, I think I need to change out the sensor things. So I might end up having to take the fuel uh, tank back out or fuel pump thing, but jig out and just replace that uh, little sensor thing uh, just to make sure I got the correct amount of fuel. But I would know if I'm getting low on fuel if my gauge reading around like 20 or 30. I would know if I'm getting low on fuel. That's it. That's all she wrote. Can't even complain to be honest. Y'all let me.
let me know what y'all think uh, down below. Man, it feels so good riding this truck. I just love driving it. I really do. You know, I, you know how it's like you want to open up like a Christmas gift. That's how that's how I am when I uh, when I get home and stuff. I just be so excited, and ready to get home. And the only thing I need to make sure I need to check is my braking system. Make sure they all good. Brakes kind of feel a little spongy, but it ain't bad. But I can't be going too fast and then slam on it. It ain't gonna work. So I need to make sure everything is on the mechanical side is reliable. Then I'm gonna get some new tires, like some new wheels and new tires probably. Lower this bad boy and uh, just probably the day. Try to do something. Upgrades right now, looking like crap. I need some new uh, seats and a little minor things, not too crazy. But man, things sound so good. I can't go too crazy, I'm gonna get loose. Uh, we kind of in uh, wet conditions. I know it's a truck will get loose quick. Is there any like recommendation upgrades I should do? Maybe like a, a rear diff or anything else? Um, I know I could need to probably do a torque converter too. Uh, get a Circle D uh, torque converter. That'd be fun. Overall, man, I cannot goddamn complain. I can't complain. Just smile for miles, baby. That's all you need. That's all you need. Just a smile. All right, guys. So we in Chick Fil A. So we seeing how this truck, you know, do just idling and stuff. It's doing pretty good. I wish it wasn't wet. I wish it wasn't. It's kind of wet and damp. I was gonna sit down in a Waffle House, but I say, let me get some Chick-fil-A. And then I seen the lawn, like the lawn literally like went on the other side, like towards the back of the road. Like that's how long the lawn was. But I say, shoot, let me get my happy eating grubbing behind in this lawn. But yeah, which I usually get for Chick-fil-A. I usually get like Chick-fil-A sandwich, Macaroni, some fries, slapped on a burger with some honey mustard, man. It's over with. And I always get the strawberry lemonade too, which is bomb as hell. I just noticed some Chick fil A's, they give you like a large ass cup, and some of them don't, which is weird. I know, like, towards like in the Atlanta area, you get like large ass cups. And then, like, uh, maybe South Georgia, yeah, it depend it depending on the restaurant, uh, depending if they give you one or not. Uh, I went to a Hawaiian Chick-fil-A before. That shit was good. So I need to go back up there, but it's pretty good.
Guys, my gas hand might be reading correct now. It might be. At first, it was giving me like a funny reading, but I might still end up changing it anyway. But man, this truck is so goddamn fun. Like just doing like, just passing people, you know, if they going too slow, I'm doing it, you know, a well-mannered way, but cautious way and uh, swiftly. Man, this thing move like nothing, man. I'm finna start stop by uh, a store. Probably just put some gas in it. Probably like twenty bucks. Don't need nothing too much. Uh, well, I might not even put nothing in there at all, to be honest. Just probably go out there and get a drink, just to check the gas hand. But man. Bet we get some smaller tires on here. Oh my god! I'm gonna do a pull right here. Woo! Hit about seven. The highest I hit on here was like 16, and I need to keep under about 13. If anything above that, uh, my car was going limp mode through an error code. Other than that, I can't complain. But like I said, temps have been amazing compared to what it was before. Temps are a freaking immaculate, amazing, especially the trans temp. I'm going to probably check my uh, trans fluid tomorrow just to uh, check. I know the last time I checked, I mean, it was full. But for it to be like around like 100, because I had let it go all the way like the 180. And once I turn that fan on, man, that thing came down. So we got some cool, cool, cool uh, liquid going to that uh, trans, you know. I can't complain about nothing. And let me know about the fuel uh, ratio. Is this like the perfect range between like 13, 14, 15 ish, maybe ish? I'm not sure. Um, but yeah. All right, guys, so uh, the truck been, you know, doing fine and amazing, um, but this turbo still got me a question mark. I might need to check. I know I got oil coming down, but um, I hopefully it's like enough, you know, to, you know, come through uh, because I know when I hooked the drain line, I had oil coming out, so I know I have oil coming. But anyway, let me know, like, what's the wheel play? That bitch hot. She spins. I don't think it's supposed to be that loose like that. But, I mean, it's hot right now, so. It ain't that bad, but y'all let me know what y'all think. Give y'all a good angle. But uh, I might upgrade. Um, another gt45 turbo that they have i might go to that i run it with this like uh set up like it's supposed to be like a budget setup but i mean i went over well over like four four k like into this build and stuff once i do a press breakdown i'm gonna let y'all know like what was what um 
I thought it was going to be like a thousand flat, but you know, you got to consider all the other uh, things, but can't complain about it. I mean, it's the best, uh, you know, money I spent and having fun and all. Yes, I wasted some money here and there with fluids and all. And like, so I got to get this boot straight. Is there like any other type of boot that they have? Um, yeah. But she not bad at all. Teapot. Anyway, guys, that's going to be it. I'm going to end up uh, on the bombshell. I was surprised these lines right here uh, stayed uh, pretty intact. One had got melted because it was like literally on the exhaust. But other than that, I made sure it was away. And I haven't been having no issues ever since. I don't see no oil on the side of my block or anywhere or dripping down anywhere as I, uh, you know, I had it before. So I got an oil catch can here, and I got a LS6 valley, co uh, valley cover, whatever you want to call it, underneath with a port that goes to this oil catch can, and then from the oil catch can, it just, you know, go in there. So this is basically used as like a vacuum to help, you know, suck that I uh, guess contaminated oil and extra um, air, or whatever. You know, it just helps it out. That's all. Well, other, other than that, it's not bad. Y'all let me know on this setup. Y'all rate it. Uh, like I said, I want to paint this setup green. I want this to be green, but I don't know, green and bronze, maybe. But just enjoy this truck while it's here and leave it like this temporarily but man i can't complain can't complain see y'all hope you have a good night dang i gotta charge up the uh battery well my phone will go in there so anyway see y'all